Both been droned out. Um, Pen Pengu going to run on down the main stairs with Ash as Eunice is going to be the one to try to hold down the soft angle. Not entirely certain why they had Fabian drop there, especially when they knew that there were still bodies sitting inside of armor. You have all five defenders left. Surely somebody is in a position to capitalize on when you hit that hatch, and they still haven't been able to do armory. Pengu is going to get the first kill for Penta, which is big because, if I remember correctly, every single time, it's been B-Genius getting the first two. Yep, and so right there, Pengu actually got the kill, like you said, from the bait that Eunice laid down as he tried to move on over to the window. However, Moss gets the trade onto Eunice. That's Hibana out. Now all the pellets have gone down. Mirror window, I don't know if it's still intact or not. We have to take another look here, but a three on four. And right there, Pengu grabs one of the RX. Shiko, however, has not been taken out. He grabs the head of KS for another frag here. It's a three on two. 25 seconds to go. Diffuser's going to be inside of Moto right at the hands of Shiko. Goku's going to come from above, and Shiko will be taken out by Pengu. Oh. And there's going to be a two on two now. 15 seconds left to go. So <laughs> this is me playing Ash with one health. And Shaco is super low on health as well, but just if you just look at look at the recall, I, I get so lucky. You have no idea how lucky I get. Oh my! This I I did jump shot him. I'm I'm disgusting. But just look at the recall. Look, look how close he is to my face. So the first bullet is to the left of my face by a pixel, right? Every other bullet is right to the right of my face. Like look how close the last bullet is, right? Right there. It's like a pixel off my face. He only had 12 bullets left, so I guess it's his mistake for not reloading, but... It was like, I got so lucky here. I didn't even realize. It was pretty weird. Somebody said Pingu's so sweaty, Pock champ. He was a fucking drop shot. Uh. Now, we are going to have an admin push here. That's what Jack is going to be on this windowsill for, trying to force anyone outside of the bathrooms, which is where we're seeing Ella. Oh, and good contestant coming up here. Eunice will navigate away safely. Right on the other side of... Who is that? That is Safiz. There, Safiz going to toss in, and it looks like a couple shots going in. Eunice tags one down. Can he get another? Oh, he's going to drop shot and pick up a 2K. Goga got downed earlier on by a nade, and now that might be a 3k here as Eunice has just initiated one of her mines onto Jack, who's inside of the admin. That's going to be a 3k for him. Wonderful holding down the fort here inside of the admin building. We've got two attackers left. It's all up to Kaoxy at the top of Circle Stairs and Voy on the very top of the consulate. That was some great play by Juno. I like how he used the mine to cover his flank. He stunned himself a little bit, but that gave away there was someone on the other side of it. He's really using those smartly, and that's why he got away with three kills in a tight spot like that. Wonderful job. I don't even know if he got hit with any bullets. He's looking like he still might have full health here. Yeah, he dives into a dead body mid-drop <laughs> shot, and I think that took some of the bullets for him. God bless those dead teammates. <laughs> now, we do have Voy that was on the windowsill. He got off. He's going to go underneath, most likely, head into Visa. But he has to regroup with Kaoxy. He's low on health as well. <laughs> Not that Eunice it matters. With a 4K here, one more member to go, and it's going to be Voy, top of the circle stairs. And I think Eunice already knows this. He's going to go for a peek. He's going to grab the ace. For any kind of peek. Not sure if they're really interested in doing that all that much, but opening both windows an interesting choice. A lot of windows getting open. They really don't want to. <laughs> Maybe they are going to go for a peek, but it's a little late to do so. I think the, the opening up those windows does two things, or opening up just windows in general or doorways in general is it's going to slow down the attack most likely um, a little bit and force them to pay more attention to potential peaks because there's so many ways that they can be shot onto now. But if you're not looking at those windows, the attackers can get up onto them and then hold an angle. You don't even know if the window's been opened up, if anyone's on the rappel there. It makes it very difficult for a defender if you're not keeping an eye on those windows. Yeah, two-way street there with a lot of... That's the beauty of the destructibility system of this game is it works both ways. doesn't give anyone any particular advantage unless they're smart about how they use it. Fabian, though, came in very aggressive, even just sledgehammering that castle barricade instead of using its advantage. It's like he knew Jack was there. Oh, what a did. push, bait, and a kill. Nicely done. It's like they pinched him with the grenade so that if he tried to run towards Pengu, he'd get shot. If he ran towards the grenade, he'd get blown up or shot by uh, Fabian. Ooh. Pengu going to pick up a 2K on the round so far after taking out Spoken. And so he's almost bit the dust here earlier. We saw a couple shots by the Ash going down through Kitchen to the wall. So we've seen a lot of work by most of the members of the team of Penta here. Goga, the only one getting kind of deprived on kills for the most part, and KS as well. I'm sure they'll see some later in the rounds.
Now we do have half the round still to go and two members off the board here for Ares. They're left with a Bandit, a Valkyrie, and a Smoke. Kay is going to be looking for the that flank down. Voy's going to be there and it looks as though she'll take a couple bullets into the shoulder. Moves on over and KS is there and down will go Voy. So they still got Kaxis, so they could still pull this off, <laughs> but it is not going to be easy. There's one shotgun kill. See, he's starting it. Two for him here. That's going to be a 2K. I he's believe in you. He's gotten off Fabian KS and Goga. Kaoxi has brought this 5v2 into a 2. What did I just say? <laughs> you just said Kaoxi's still on the board. Jeez. <laughs> There it is. Now we are going to have Pengu try to move in forward. Again, this is going to be a three speed versus three speed. Safiz is there, but he looks to run at the wrong time. Eunice and Pengu both move into the perfect time, getting the crossfire. He goes down. Kaoxi is going to have to get an ace here if he wants to get his team a victory. Last flashbang goes out, doesn't do the trick. It will not blind Kaoxi. Eunice moves in. That's a 4K for him. Can he get Pengu? Are we going to have an ace here? It goes around the corner, and it will be Pengu with the last flashbang. And that's going to be it. Pentas takes round number six, four to two. If he hadn't landed that flashbang, I think there's a Mantieni la calma, two hands. In case you come to As I say, Risto, you just going to be getting aggressive on a lackey from the square stairs. Not sure if that's the right call, but it will actually work out for him in this instance. Still very risky, though. Very rare to see an Ella accuse that much of your magazine mm -hmm. and not be able to kill him. And secretly blows himself up. So the first frag of the round is going to go to Secretly, who kills himself. And that will set up his team very well. As you can see, Lackey on a shred of health as well. One to two bullets away from certain death. An excellent job to that sledge. That is the King Leo school for how to use grenades. I don't know if anyone else saw that coming, Bob but even if he had gotten the grenade off, it would have hit the wall. Yeah, it would have hit the it would have hit the ridge on the window or the window frame, and that would have been it. I mean, it was that was a lose lose situation, and lose he did. got Pengu on Blackbeard and that those are those are uh, terms of an engagement I think he wants to win I think I think that's a pretty standard thing too some harassment from the twitch drone of KS onto renewals who we will see the rook roam yet again off-site upstairs you can see that Pengu is gonna see him right away and wow. what a shot the lethality of that scar able to take the rook down and once again that rook armor does not protect you from headshots whatsoever one minute to go now, of course, Ella is an operator that is able to win these fights, especially using those concussive mines, but not even a chance as Pengu destroys that Ella through the desk. And Penta only two rounds away. You can just see, saw the head of Ella, didn't know where she was, but sprayed the desk, and that's all it took. Big question is, will we see Penta get more aggressive onto these open area players, or no? They're just going to let it slip away. I think that's the right call. Honestly, in this instance, Nuka Nose has a good lock on all of the rotations upstairs, and unfortunately, as that opportunity is missed, it was not really able to be recaptured by Penta. Now, as time ticks away, 43 seconds, it's still 3v4, so not completely lost for Penta. They do have a good spread and a nice way to hold this bomb site. They got the Echo Drone, they've got the C4 likely on KS, and they also have I believe all three gas grenades, as you can see, they do. And when it's a 4v3 like this, and you do have your smoke and your echo left, it's almost like a 4v4, especially with the yokai still in play. And you can see 
It's just hiding from all of the mass destruction. As KS is going to wait for a drop, sees one, can't win that fight, secretly takes it, and now a 4v2 for Snookin knows to be able to try and put this back on even footing. Pengu does get a kill, and you can see now Penta is going to need to twer try to get into that site. Are they just going to run out of time? Blam is going down. Fabian gets a kill. There's the diffuser. Pengu gets the final kill. Penta is now going to go one away from taking this as they will push into match point on a very, very good retake on that site. I also like the lesion just as an operation. We've seen it as an observation. Whoa! What is going on? Shot Shot day. walks in and down go Fabian and Eunice. And the Twitch now will retreat. Oh my word! That's not supposed to happen, Chate. You're insane. An excellent double kill there, shutting down both the bandit and the, the legion holding yellow stairs. And now Ents has a much better avenue of attack. Goga gonna get Panari elsewhere, but still, I gotta feel that Penta has uh, got reverberations still inside of them from those that double kill. Kanto adds to the total as down goes Goga and leaves only two members of the five and they'll just look to try and stay upright. Now, Penta, oh, KS, a great shot, blinded, as down goes Wilkie, and now Pengu and KS will look to hold on. Now, you still have Pengu available to the team. You still have those Toxic Babes, and they'll now reset the Ash of, or sorry, the Blackbeard of Boonsi. But from above, the Ash of Kanto spots Pengu, but he manages to move just in time. And they'll now look to pressure. Moving up towards the back of White Van. Kanto surges in, down goes the smoke of Penta, and there's only one left. It's KS, who's got another kill, this time on Boonsi, and he's gonna look for Shate. What a shot from KS! It's just Kanto left now. It's a one-on-one -on -one with a sliver of health for the Mira down below. But 30 seconds left. Kanto does not have the diffuser. They will just simply try to find KS, and he sees him. See if he'll try to drop the hatch, but he's running out of time. Out goes the Nitro Cell inside of that cafeteria to prevent his push. And now here he goes. Hits the goo, gives his position away. Kanto versus KS. He's just simply going to waste time. And as Kanto comes in, finds a barricade, that's going to be it. No time at all. The frustration sets in. And just holding on. Unbelievable that Penta keeps that round for themselves after Shate looked to set it in Ensa's favor so early on. Is it, it's good that you can get that indirect kill at least, and it, it seems like Ents might be able to come back on this round, but Penta's looking very fierce so far, and I think a lot of it is attributed to the simple lack of focus on the east side of, or excuse me, the, yeah, no, the east side of the building. The attackers are allowed too far in. Panari gonna get a kill onto KS, though. That is the second kill for Panari in this round, I believe. Yeah, he took, this, he took the Nitro Cell for Bandit, Bandit which is C4Y. something that's, that, that's a little odd, but that's okay. He managed to get two kills with it so far. And now take a look. Two Capcan traps for Wilkie have been detonated onto the attacker so far in this round. And there you can see the new operator that has seen a lot of play in all regions showing great face here and use. Now we hit the final minute mark, all tied up, but still strongly in favor of Penta. What a shot from Shate as Eunice falls. And you can see Panari's gonna go for his third. He manages to take all but a tiny portion of Fabian's health off, but that Glaz is going to be formidable no matter what his health is at. Panari wins the fight, and that's his third kill, but he won't get the ace as Shate is on the board for Ents. That leaves just Goga, as you can see Penta is going to pin their hopes on the Thermite with his diffuser just inside of the lobby looking to push inside. Kanto comes around the corner. Goga wins that fight, expects Panari, and that's a good double kill from him. Two members down will put us at a 1v1 against the Jaeger of Shate. He's got 25 seconds and can get that plant off, but with the drone still left, he sees him and will now look to push in. Shate will move and Goga gets ready. Goga with a nice 3K to clutch the round for Penta. That's why you don't write that story early and Penta somehow snatches victory from the jaws of defeat. Now, as Ents clears the top floor again, they will be ringing the Jackal. I think Jackal, a bit of a staple for bank on attack. You really have to have that excess of roam clear. He's also great with the secondary shotgun opening of the drop down, but KS doing a lot of what we were seeing Kanto do. Now on to Panari. This round will be having a pretty successful roam game, just standing inside of the elevator hallway, waiting for the challenge to come out from the Ents attackers from above. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but a very smart move there was because Chaos didn't actually enter the room, there were no hot footprints for the Jackal of Kanto to be able to pick up on. So because of that, he doesn't know where KS is as KS gets a second kill. And now Goga's gonna get away with one before immediately being taken down by Kanto. He'll get hit by the Elamine. And you can see that KS has next to no life. He sees the drone. He's gonna leave it, it looks like. I don't know why, but 
he'll sit just outside of it and hopefully they won't know where he is. Yeah, he, they are going to find out where he is though, thanks to the Jackal Mark. Eventually, we did have Kanto Ketty get in aggressive enough position to be able to see those footprints, despite the great uh, tiptoeing from KS. And now it's still a sh it's still a two on three, however, and the attackers in Ents are going to be very pressured to win this fight as Pengu gets the first kill of this two on three onto Shate. It's all down to Kanter Aketi, the Jackal, who was just supposed to be the roam hold. He's going to hopefully finally get KS with a nice headshot, challenging onto that elevator hallway. And he's going to have to challenge Fabian next. Shotgun at this angle, it's unlikely to happen for Kanto. Just T waiting. Just tick tock goes the clock, and as, can as Kanto challenges the main door, he will vo run on in, get eliminated by Pengu. Sounds so condescending when you say my dude. Wait, you kidding me? Oh, I just found his awesome spot. What? Oh. If you peek from this window, you can see them run inside the train. This is awesome spot. Ja, man bürger ist hier, man